cosmic drama. Two black holes are doomed to crash in a way that will shake time and space, according to what scientists are telling us. Two supermassive black holes are locked in what has been described by scientists as an epic cosmic waltz, nine billion light years away from us. And it's a dance that is destined to end dramatically. In 10,000 years, time and space may be shaken up by the inevitable collision of two supermassive black holes. They're locked together by space gravity. This is what a new study led by scientists from California Institute of Technology, Caltech, suggests. The masses of the two black holes are hundreds of millions of times larger than that of our sun. And the distance between them is currently estimated at roughly 50 times of that which separates our Sun and Pluto. California Institute of Technology said, when the pair merge in roughly 10,000 years, the titanic collision is expected to shake space and time itself, sending gravitational waves across our universe. The two black holes examined by Caltech, the team are believed to be the tightest knit supermassive black hole duo yet observed. The pair was dubbed PKS 2131-021, and it is a quasar. The fact that the quasar, something that's known as an active galaxy core with a supermassive black hole siphoning material from a disk and circling it, contains two black holes orbiting within its sparked curiosity in the scientific team. The possibility of a quasar possessing two black holes has already been mulled by astronomers, but Finding proof of such a thing was was difficult. Before PKS 2131-021, there was only one quasar that had been proven to possess a pair of supermassive black holes caught in the act of merging as the two bodies orbit each other in a cosmic dance, as uh, the astronomers call it. This pair was detected in a quasar dubbed OJ-287, with its black holes circling every nine years while it takes two years to complete an orbit for the duo spotted in the PKS 2131-02. The new pair of supermassive black holes detected due to scientists spotting periodic changes in the quasar's radio light brightness, and according to the scientists citing radio data, they registered a perfect sinusoidal light curve, something that has never observed, been observed in quasars before. Now, uh, they said, when we realized that the peaks and troughs of the light curve detected from recent times matched the peaks and troughs observed between 1975 and 1983, we knew something very special was going on. This is what Sandra O'Neill ex explained. She's the lead author of this new study and an undergraduate student at Caltech, so they're good for her. According to the researchers, a new study provides a path to further detect similar supermassive black hole mergers it's something that causes huge ripples across space and time. This is by Daria Bedenko Sputnik. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.